I watched a video this morning on thinking through your thoughts in terms of writing an essay. I'll link to that below. But it made me think doom scrolling. You're on your phone and you watch a video, watch another video, watch another video. What if after every single video on whatever screen you're on, you had to shut it off and write for just one minute after every single video, you have to say, what did I remember about what I just watched? I think it'd be an amazing challenge for middle school or high school students. Between every video, set down your phone for just one minute. Think, what do I remember? More than that, think, why? Why did I remember that part from the video? What was it about that thing that was important to me? And how did it work that it connected with my brain in some way? What part of it is it that resonates with me in terms of what I just watched? I think that would be an amazing assignment. It would help with doom scrolling to help people actually internalize what it is that they're actually watching. Is it as fun? No. But is it better for your brain? I would say yes, absolutely. And I'll link to the video about the process of essay writing and why that's important. But honestly, most videos that do well use this thought process to think through what they're talking about before they have you watch the video, with the exception of, you know, like silly cat videos and whatever. But for the most part, any video that's a story telling you something has thought through an essay process before actually bringing you that content. And I think it would just be amazing as a challenge. I'm going to start doing it myself, I think, if I catch myself scrolling through and watching video after video, just stopping and saying, what are the things that I remember from that seven minutes, that 10 minutes? What is it that my brain actually can retrieve from what it is I just watched? I think we're so inundated. We have so much information coming in that maybe we're just not remembering or not receiving all of the things that are coming in at us. And that's absolutely true. But I think this activity could really help not only middle school and high school students, but help all of us. Give it a shot. Let me know just how it works for you. Come back to this video and post in the comments below. I'd be super curious to know. And I'll make an update and let you know how it goes for me as well.